Safe bus travel. Welcome on board. Enjoy. Be aware. I'm a student, so bus travel can mean travelling on a school bus to school. Or a local town bus with different design features. It usually has less seats, but more standing room with hand grips and poles. And also a charter bus for fun school excursions. Students like us who travel by bus spend a lot of their life on a bus. Two rides per day. 398 rides per school year. 2,786 rides while at primary school. Which makes 5,174 bus rides from year prep to 12. Make sure you always treat the driver with respect. They have the important job of getting me, you and others to school and home safely. At the bus stop, remember, leave home with plenty of time to get to the bus stop 10 minutes prior to the scheduled departure time. Always walk as far away from the road edge as possible. If the bus is late, do not leave the bus stop. Stay alert and wait there until it arrives. Stand well back from the road when waiting for the bus. Do not push others when the bus is approaching the stop. Don't forget to hail the driver. Wait until the bus stops completely before going near the door. Get onto the bus in an orderly manner. When you're on board the bus. Move down the bus and sit in your seat. If the bus has seat belts, you must wear them at all times. Make sure you know where the emergency exit is in case you ever need to use it. School bags should be placed under the seat or in the racks. Local town buses. If you don't have a seat, move to the back of the bus and always hold onto a hand grip or pole. These designated seats are for people with a disability. Remember, you need to take extra care around bus stops due to additional traffic in the town. Charter buses. When you travel as a group on school excursions, you are often in unfamiliar places, so stay together as a group. Enjoy yourself, but stay alert around bus stops, bus loading areas and roads. If you assist in unloading luggage or sports equipment from the bus, listen carefully to instructions from your bus driver and teachers. When leaving the bus, the driver will not open the door until the bus is completely stopped. So I stay in my seat. There is no need to push or rush. If you are using headphones, these must be removed before leaving the bus, as they distract you from being fully aware of danger. Once off the bus, stand well back. Never cross in front of the bus. Never cross the road until the bus has moved away. Do not cross the road until you can see clearly in all directions. If an adult meets you at the bus stop, ask them to read the safe travel of school students' guiding principles. Ask adults to park on the same side of the road as the bus stop whenever possible. Meet you at the stop. Not ask you to cross the road by yourself. Look out for the lights flashing on the outside of the bus, which means children are leaving or boarding the bus. Do's and don'ts. Most accidents happen at the bus stop before the bus arrives or after it pulls away. What we do when we're at the bus stop is as important to staying safe as how we act on the bus. Always show care, courtesy and common sense while on the bus. Do stand well back when at the bus stop and wait until the bus has completely stopped. Don't rush or push others when the bus arrives. Do wait until the bus moves away before crossing the road. Don't cross the road in front of the bus or between parked cars. Do sit down on your seat quietly and quickly. If there are no seats, move to the back of the bus and use the hand grips on the side. Don't distract the driver or annoy others on board the bus. In the event of an emergency... We don't often have emergencies on buses, but just like your school has plans for when things go wrong, buses have plans too. Don't panic, stay calm. Listen to the instructions the driver gives and follow them closely. The driver is experienced and will know what to do. If someone is hurt or ill, tell the driver where they are and what is wrong with them. Do not move the person who is hurt. If the driver is hurt, leave the bus, assemble in a group in a safe place away from the bus and wait for help to arrive. Dial triple O. 
If there are smaller children on board, make sure that they do not wander away or onto the road. Should a fire break out on the bus? Move to a safe place well away from the bus, two lengths of the bus or a hundred big steps. Assemble as a group in a safe place away from the bus and wait for help to arrive. Don't panic, stay calm, stay together. Do not go back to the bus for any reason. Dial triple zero. Safe bus travel. This is a special section for mums and dads and carers. Meet your children on the same side of the road as the bus stop and do not park in the bus parking bay. Parking or waiting opposite the bus stop is dangerous and it is one of the most frequent causes of accidents at bus stops. All children, especially little ones, are excited to see you after a day at school and are likely to run across the road to meet you. If you have to park on the other side of the road, get out of your vehicle, cross the road and wait on the same side as the bus stop. Establish a designated waiting place with your child close to the bus stop. As well as preventing them from running across the road, it always gives them somewhere to wait in the event that you are late to meet them. Safety first. The bus industry prides itself on its passenger safety record. In Queensland alone, some 560 accredited bus operators are involved for over 125 million passenger trips per year. The bus industry and your local accredited bus operator hold the safety and interests of their passengers paramount at all times. And please remember, it is you, your friends and the bus driver who deserve a safe and happy journey to and from home. Welcome on board. Enjoy. Be aware.